Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to check out the Garuda XFC Linux. The Garuda XFC Linux desktop comes with the LTS kernel instead of the regular Zen kernel. So in most of uh, the desktops of Garuda Linux, the Zen kernel is the regular kernel. While in the XFC desktop of Garuda Linux, the LTS kernel is the default kernel. And we have install the xfc desktop with ms dos partitions no swap full loops encryption plus butterfs file system with the z standard compression and the auto snaps enabled and for the ram there is z ram compression available so let us start here you can see the loops encryption is there so the complete virtual hard disk is encrypted with loops encryption we have to pro uh, provide the password to uh, decrypt the hard disk So you have to keep this password uh, in your memory if your memory is strong or you can write it down in some diary calendars or you can store it on some other system you can use the password manager to store this on some other system so you can see now the system is booting and you can see the lts kernel is only there both recovery and the main kernel is lts zen is not available but of course you can install it if you require And the splash screen is there. Looks very similar to the other desktops in Garuda Linux. There is no change in the splash screen. You can even see the verbose if you want. So this is the greater screen of the XFC desktop of Garuda Linux. You can see here on the top bar there is on screen keyboard high contrast and screen reader accessibility features you have got the keyboard layout the language selection the calendar is there and the power menu is there and here you can input your password in the password field and get logged in there is no way to change the session so the session choice is not available whether you want to log in in the xorg or you want to log in as a wayland so that is not available right now maybe after the uh, first boot it uh, second boot it will be available sometimes it is, uh, sometime it happens like this and the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to change the display we require a proper resolution so we are going to change the display resolution is yes now it is properly uh, resolved okay so on the first boot and on every boot you will be greeted by the garuda setup assistant so we will not go into this because i have done separate videos on the garuda setup assistant they are very detailed you can watch them already few videos have been released by the time this video is released and some more will come later on so you can watch that so now you can see the garuda welcome is there all the standard garuda welcome apps are available here you can see here the garuda assistant garuda gamer garuda settings manager garuda network assistant garuda boot options system cleaner butterfs uh, assistant add remove software kot kur website then uh, the garuda services have website wiki donate link FAQs link to the GitHub, GitLab, then CRX, Google, Bitwarden, Private Bin, Status. What is status? I will show you later. It shows, shows the status of the mirrors and servers of the Garuda Linux. Then you can join Garuda Linux team and users on different forums and social links. So they, those are given here. You can start the setup assistant from here and rest is uh, the common buttons are there so i will close this now let us come to the xfc desktop so you have got the trash icon and the home icon on the desktop below the xfc panel is there this is the application menu firefox web browser is there thunar file manager is there xfc terminal is there so four workspaces are there the network manager is there Redshift uh, in GTK is there. 
then you got the volume control the battery manager notifications area the calendar is there and this is the power menu so now we will go into the details let us check out all the applications so in accessories section the application finder is there bulk renamer is there catfish file search is there clipboard manager the firmware installer is there calculator is there so they are using some of the gnome applications here so we have seen two calculator and this redshift gtk so these are both uh, based on the gtk technologies but they are used here in the xfc desktop gestures is there so this gestures is to uh, configure the gestures on your touchpad gtk hash is there menu editor micro text editor is there Mod modem ui uh, modem manager ui is there mousepad is there notes onboard keyboard onboard settings redshift screenshots sensor view then you have got some tokens software tokens task manager is there thunar file manager usb image writer usb image formatter vim is there x archiver is there so let us check out the task manager so here you can see memory usage is around 28% 1.1 gb so this xfc desktop is uh, more or less similar memory usage as compared to the KDE desktop or the GNOME desktop. It is not light. CPU usage is hovering between 1 to 2 percent. There are 295 processes running in the memory. So it is not light but not uh, heavy also. Uh, because uh, it is heavier than other XFC desktops in other Linux distributions because it has got more functionality. They have added more apps and the whole host of Garuda Linux tools and utilities are available. So just like in OpenSUSE, this desktop is similar to the what the XFC desktop is there in the OpenSUSE. A lot of tools and utilities are available. Then in development section, icon browser, meld is there. So meld is to compare and merge your files, micro text editor in graphics, color picker, peak is there. So peak is to record short animated GIF images from your screen. This reto image viewer is there. Pinta is there. So Pinta is used to create and edit images. Internet section, the Hawaii SSH server browser, the VNC server browser, Firefox. Here is there. It is an email client. This modem manager UI is there and the transmission is there. I think this transmission is also GTK based. It is a BitTorrent downloader. Multimedia, Audacity, Celluloid, MPV player, Peak. PitV is there. So PitV is a video editor, non-linear video editor. Also, a volume control. You, this video test utilities are there, and the accept burn is there. So it will burn your CDs and DVDs in office section. Here also, no office suite is provided. Only dictionary. Abbey Word is there. So Abbey Word is a small program to compose, edit, and view documents. And the QPDF view is there. So very light in the office section. And the standard XFC settings are there. You can see it here. And in system, you can see the Garuda Assistant, Garuda Gamer, Garuda Boot, all that we have seen, uh, those uh, tools and utilities of Garuda Linux are there. Even the system admin is there. Suspend Hibernate function, VeraCrypt is there. So it is the disk encryption software with strong security based on the true encrypt. Wi-Fi hotspot is there. And the XFC terminal is there. So now what we will do is let us open the settings. Yes, so we will go to the system uh, settings, the XFC settings. And first thing that we require is let us check out the appearance section first. Let me check. Yes, let us check out the screen server. What is there in the screen server? You can see right now the blank theme, uh, blank screen or the blank uh, theme is there. We can go with the uh, random floating pop art square slideshow. I think we will go with the random. 
that looks better no why it is not so we will go with this thing and i think preview is also there if you want to see the preview so yes this is the preview only and the lock screen also there are some settings now let us go back to the all settings let us try the desktop settings let us see yes in the desktop settings you can change the wallpapers so all the garuda wallpapers are there so this wallpaper is there can change over to this this looks very nice this one is also very nice looking wallpaper this one is there this is also very nice looking wallpaper this will suit many this is also very dark but good wallpaper i might uh, use it this one is also nice this is okay this one is okay let's check this out so these are some of the wallpapers that we have checked and the icons which icons to show on the uh, desktop so we have chosen now to show the file system also on the icon so that is possible and the folder is garuda wallpapers but you can go and check out the backgrounds also so backgrounds is empty i think so we'll have to go and configure the background this garuda wallpapers again and you can all, of course install icons you can also install some themes here so that is also possible in the xfc desktop and uh, anything else is there see which is this web browser let us check out because firefox is given here so this icon was different so let us check out which i think it will be the fire dragon uh, fire dragon web browser let me check okay so it is firefox only so uh, i think this is the latest one 112 version or it it is among the latest one let me check if anything else is there interesting to check out so let us try out the pick so it is going to record my screen and then it will create a animated uh, gif from that okay let us but something like this you have to do and then it will create a animated gif out of that uh, recording so that is the very simple to use this app let us check out the firmware updater so this is the firmware updater so right now no devices will be shown because uh, we are using the virtual machine the graphics uh, pinta is there so what is pinta it is to create and edit images so that uh, nothing extraordinary is there or nothing very uh, it will be we have seen earlier so i think nothing is there we are, we, all the apps we have checked out earlier so i will now stop the video here see you in the next video maybe we will check out the matte desktop of garuda linux see you then bye bye